completely confused when my hair senses the tiniest of humidity in the air. You don't want to see that. Oh my god. Oh, la gente. What is up, my warrior angels? Welcome to yet another video where we usually test out new hair care on camera. But just for today, the Conair Infinity Pro Steam Flat Iron. I checked a few Steam Flat Iron rankings and this kept popping up. And I've been meaning to test out one of these insanely expensive. So this one seemed like a very nice price quality ratio. So let's go ahead and open this and. Between concrete walls, there's a place for us. Do you wanna follow? Ah, this is gorgeous. The color matches my robe. Who would have thought? So I'm really curious about the entire concept and I'm so confused. Look at the claims. Steam is supposed to really moisturize the hair and kind of lock that moisture in. And still like vapor, humidity, smoother, shinier hair. But it will protect against freeze up to 230 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna insert the Fahrenheit right here. Based on my very quick Google research seems safe. Okay, so here there is a tiny button and you can remove the tiniest water tank ever. Instantly thinks. Um, how many times will I have to refill this? I'm gonna make sure this is sufficiently dry because I guess I wanna live. Water tank goes straight back to where it came from. That was easy. Are you ready? This is my hair air dried and I know. I know, I know, I know, I know it has texture, which is a nice way of saying that it is absolutely crazy, insane, unruly, unmanageable, and that you pretty much feel pity for me right now. Let's see what this can do for me. I'm gonna do like half and half. I want you guys to be able to compare. Okay, so this is really easy and straightforward to operate. Okay, so there is off, then there is the medium steam symbol, and then there's the big one. There's this on off, Wooden, I'm gonna turn it on. And there's this digital window that indicates the temperature. As you click plus or minus, it kind of moves. Put it to 30. Where is the steam? I don't see it. Uh, who needs to read the instructions, right? Except me and possibly everyone. So here's the thing. You, you need to wait like two to three minutes for it to start producing the steam. It takes a while. So while we're waiting, another cool safety feature is that it will automatically turn itself off after 60 minutes so oh okay okay i'm seeing the steam now so releases the steam as you are using it okay let's do this properly Enchanté. okay it's definitely straighter all right, it gets really hot. So if I were you, I would invest in one of these combs. It's, it will save you. That is smooth. Wow, that is really straight. Kind of love it. Let's continue. Next layer. So I definitely like the plates a lot more than I thought I would. Oh my God. Okay, I'm surprised that we still have water in the tank, even though it's a really small one but in Spanish. Like not having water in your tank is like when you cannot think properly or like something is wrong with your mind, you're kind of crazy, you know, that sort of thing. It's very silky so far and very promising. Let's see what it does with the top layer, which I don't know if it happens to you, but it's my most damaged area. I have like the shorter layers that are crazier. I do more highlights on my top layers and that means more damage more dryness, more breakage prone, all those things. There's still water in there, good. 
because we're only halfway there. All right, I'm gonna turn this off for a bit so that we can chat and compare. Oh wow, it's huge, right? This is air dried, very frizzy here. So usually I could potentially get to something like this, but I would have to blow dry first. So this side is just smoother. It's definitely shinier, but you know, all of those things I would expect from my other flat irons that I own. I feel that the main difference that is actually kind of huge is that like I can see how this is a lot less drying than the average flat iron. It is putting in all those tiny steam drops and really hydrating the hair. You know what really does intrigue me and kind of blows my mind about this? The humidity is not causing even more frizz. That kind of reminds me actually of one thing my hairdresser once said to me. Frizzy hair is actually super extra dry hair that is very porous and when it comes in contact with moisture or humidity in the environment it kind of soaks it in and so super thirsty and porous that it works like a sponge so maybe the steam somehow hydrates and then seals that would make sense to me wow this is oh, wow i wish you guys could touch this you know what i can't wait to use this with my keratin smooth perfect treatment by bc bonicure unbeatable combo for frizzy hair you keep looking at this side as i finish the final top layer let me know if you're starting to see this side getting puffier or crazier Enchanté. all right so we are completely done and there's still some water in the little tiny tank but it was enough and remember i used it on the highest steam setting it only releases the steam when you're using it in contact with your hair so that way it is more efficient so i'm gonna have to give this a huge huge thumbs up it totally earned it not sponsored by the way just a very very excited consumer with no regrets and that is a wrap my warrior angels i hope this video helped you make the right purchase decision for you every single product used and mentioned throughout this video is going to be linked in the description box below thank you so much for your support if you decide to use my links on this or any of my other videos and if you're new around here remember to subscribe so that we get to meet again do you wanna follow? Click here.